Hello YouTube and in this video I'm going to be fitting a new steering wheel into my Volkswagen T5 2011. So the first thing you're going to have to do is remove the top part of the casing for the steering column. Now I've already adjusted mine, um, I'm just going to pull it so the handle underneath and pull it all the way forward so I can get some better access to behind here. So I'm going to use my trim tool, um, I'm going to go in the side here and I'm just going to try and pop it open on that side and then I'm going to try and pop it open on this side too now it's quite fiddly um, what you can actually do is go for the back end of it and then the top will come off too so once that bits released um, I'm actually going to take this plastic cover off now you can remove it from the little lever trim there's a um, little clip this side and you can see a pinch clip in the middle there another pinch clip that side and there you go I'm just going to remove that and place that to one side okay so that's the first step right the next step is to try and release the airbag so this is the back of the new steering wheel okay or the newer steering wheel now I just wanted to show you this because this is the steps basically to take out the airbag on the existing steering wheel which is in there but before we get that I wanted to show you this because I can get a better angle with the camera so in here you'll see this uh, metal pin and there's a point just here that you can get leverage to move that pin now you're going to be able to want to move that pin on both sides which will pop the airbag out Okay, what I'm going to do for you is actually show you this a bit more detailed because uh, it can be really fiddly. Now, I showed you that metal clip earlier on and this is part of the airbag and obviously on this side there's two, this is where it connects. So this metal pin, you want to release like that. Little, um, now we're going to go for this little metal bit here. You can see there's some tension on that straight away. Now the idea is that you do that. And you can see now that this black clip here has um, gone back in to the steering wheel a little bit. So if I reverse it round here for you, airbag itself has popped loose at the top. So I'm just going to turn the steering wheel round to the other side. And we're going to repeat this process with this clip too. Now, what I'm using is my phone for a better view of the back of the steering wheel. So, again, there's that little clip, and you heard it, and you'll see now that it's completely released. I need to pop the steering wheel nice and straight, and what we're going to be looking at now is the next stage is to release the negative side of the battery so I'm gonna go ahead and get that sorted so you're gonna need a 10 mil socket in here and what we're gonna do is just release the negative side of the battery That is fiddly. That is quite fiddly. Um, now I'm just going to tuck mine through here, make sure it doesn't come into contact with the battery. So the battery's been disconnected, um, so you can now 
pull this out. Now it's attached inside. Um, so what I'm going to show you now is the best way of getting this out. So you've got that little white clip here. You're just going to try and release this up. Okay. You can see that that pulls up. And now you're just going to squeeze that tab together. Okay. A bit like that. And it just pops off. So that's the airbag removed. Okay. Um, set that to one side. And the next challenge is to undo this big spline bolt inside. So for this next stage, uh, you're going to need a uh, socket, um, socket set or whatever, ratchet, but you're going to need a M12, that is, so M12, I think you can just catch it on there, M12, there it is, uh, and that should go in there, uh, mine is 10 mil, so we're going to pop that on, and then we're going to loosen it off, okay? Now, hopefully, when this bolt comes off, because I've never taken this steering wheel off before, um, I don't know. Yes. So you can see just inside, the nice people before me have marked it with this little line here. Now, the angle of the camera, that's better. You see this little line here? Now I'm hopefully, if I mark, put my new steering wheel on a line with that, it'll mean that my wheel is in a straight line. So let's just take this one off. And that we're at this stage. Get the new steering wheel and pop the new steering wheel on in line with those holes. Now also you can see these two rubber bits or plastic bit, sorry. They're on the like plastic housing behind it. So they're now in position, which is good. So the reverse of putting this back together, um, pretty straightforward. We're gonna pop that nut inside and then we're gonna tighten this up. We're gonna obviously need our ratchet to make sure that it's super tight the right way. Let's do that up tight. Try not to scratch anything on the newer steering wheel. With a dodgy ratchet. If anyone wants to send me a new ratchet, feel free. I'll send you an old T5 steering wheel. Right. I'm gonna make sure that that is tight. So I don't want that bad boy coming flying off whilst I'm driving along. So, all to do now is to connect up the airbag and fit the airbag in. Now, although this is a multi-function steering wheel, um, it's, a little, it's a lot better than my old one. Um, what I'm not going to be using is these buttons yet. Um, I've got this stereo in. Um, you can obviously connect up to the RCD310. That's fine, I need the extra loom in here uh, and I need to change the control box underneath, which is fine. I might do that at a later stage, but at the moment, um, this is just for looks really. Um, the old steering wheel itself uh, looked a bit tattered, uh, especially along the top. Um, you can see the compare nest there. It just looks really naff and rubbery. And this one is leathery, although it's got a few marks on it. Uh, it's much, much better, Nick. Right. Let's get this airbag in. See, is to connect the airbag in. Now, I've left the white um, connection bit up before I attach this yellow piece inside. Now, I'm hopefully going to be able to reach it with one hand. Uh, it's very fiddly, but it's just to mainly show you what to do. So, I've pushed that on, and then I'm just going to push in that white bit, and that's attached. Okay, I hope you saw that. Um, but then, ugh, scary business. All right, so airbag in place, and I'm just gonna give it a push, and she's in. Okay, airbag in, 
pushed in nice and solid. Uh, steering wheel feeling fresh. So I'm just going to release that and drop it back down to its usual height. And she looks a little bit more trendier. Um, just a quick one in this video too, nothing related to the steering wheel. Um, but I've actually taken off the uh, fascia plate to the airbag on the passenger side. Uh, that was really fiddly. I didn't do a video for it, but um, I won't do a video for it. But I will show you the finished result um, when I've pieced it back together. But if you are interested in doing any flocking, um, it's a material based substance you can just throw onto things with a load of glue. Then check out my flocking video, which you can see at the end of this video. Okay, last bit to do. We're going to reattach the battery. Right now. Again, it's a 10 mil socket, so I'm just gonna swap hands. So I took that out of the way. Now you might get a little spark, but I guess you've got to be quick. And she's on. Okay. Now we're just gonna tighten her up. Make sure it's pretty tight. Obviously you don't want it falling off whilst you're driving along. Um, okay. All right, shut up the bonnet. Shut. Do is obviously check. You've got no warning lights. Tick over the engine. Happy days. Mileage is pretty good on this little sweetie. This is Tom from T Dubs. Thanks for watching. I hope the video was useful. I hope it helps you on your build too. Please subscribe, please like, click the bell, and you'll be notified when my next video gets uploaded.